Hi, this is Henry, and we had something a little uh, unusual that we don't see very often. Um, this patient was here a few days ago for a um, mass removal that was right up against the chest wall. And as part of our um, pain management protocol, we wanted to try and control her pain with as many different avenues as possible. So we inserted an infusion catheter right underneath the skin so that the owners can actually instill local anesthetics um, every six hours just to give her some additional local anesthesia. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and give her one final dose and then we're gonna actually remove her catheter and um, send her on her way. As you can see, there's quite a bit of bruising. Um, this was a pretty extensive surgery here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, inject about three cc's of bupivacaine and this is very similar to an intravenous injection going right into a IV port, but we're just going to go ahead and insert the needle and slowly inject her bupivacaine. And as you can see, this is uh, extremely comfortable for her. Um, it's not painful at all. And then there's just a few little tiny tack sutures that are holding this guy in here. And so we're just gonna snip those sutures. Good job, girlfriend. Alright, so all three sutures are out, we're just going to check to make sure that this is mobile. Alright, and she doesn't seem to be responding, so then in uh, one quick smooth movement, uh, we're just going to go ahead and pull straight out to remove the catheter. Alright, so you can see it's pretty long, and it just kind of coils up right underneath the skin just so that we can infuse that bupivacaine right into the operative site. Sometimes when you do the um, injection right before you remove the catheter, you will get a little bit of leakage, but this is actually looking great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean her up here, and then I'll write up my record and we'll send her back to the owner. And that's how you remove a uh, infusion port for local anesthetics after surgery.